Quick Clot Combat Gauze Directions for Use Directions for Use 1 Open package and remove combat gauze. Keep the empty package. There are six tear points located around the edge of the packaging. It is important to use these points when opening as it is difficult or impossible to tear the package otherwise. Using the tear points, the package can be opened horizontally across the top or bottom of the package as well as vertically along one side. Directions for use 2. Pack combat gauze into wound and use it to apply pressure directly over the bleeding source. More than one combat gauze may be required. Pack the wound with quick clot combat gauze and use it to apply pressure directly over the source of bleeding. Do not simply cover the wound with the gauze. Not all wounds are identical. Regardless of the wound's size or shape, you need to pack the wound with quick clot combat gauze using it to apply pressure directly over the source of bleeding. Again, regardless of the size and shape of the wound, it is important that you pack the wound with quick clot combat gauze using it to apply pressure directly over the source of bleeding. Do not simply cover the wound with the gauze. Directions for use 3. Continue to apply pressure for 3 minutes or until bleeding stops. Once the wound is fully packed, use any excess gauze to continue to apply pressure over the wound for 3 minutes or until bleeding is controlled. The time required for formation of a stable clot will vary depending on several factors. The key is to maintain firm, consistent pressure directly over the bleeding source. Again, it is important to maintain consistent pressure to assist with clot formation. Do not push up and down on the wound or move the gauze unnecessarily. Do not lift the gauze away from the wound to see if bleeding has stopped. Directions for use 4. Wrap and tie bandage to maintain pressure. Seek medical care immediately. Show product removal directions on package to medical personnel. Use your issued pressure dressing or other appropriate materials to bandage the wound tightly, securing the quick clot combat gauze in place once bleeding is controlled. The bandage should both maintain pressure on the wound and prevent further contamination of the injury site. Once the dressing is secured, tuck the empty combat gauze package into the outer wrap to alert receiving medical personnel that quick clot combat gauze has been used.